Hi, I'm Chris Jenner, and this is my beautiful daughter, Kim. Mom, I just want to make sure they're paying attention. With all the craziness that's happening this season, trust me, they're going to be paying attention. I am the Rosa Parks of white people. Whoa, Joan, what are you doing? We have everything this season. We have sex. Where's your nightgown? Is this a thing? Oh. Oh my, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Mom! We have a lot of drama. Joan, it could be a cancer. Stop, please. We're still living and working together, and it is making everyone crazy. Go, Don't make me back. say it twice. Step I'm back. not saying it twice. Out of the cart. I'm talking to you privately. Whatever. You got a whole lot of attitude up in here. Oh, oh, oh. In the end, Melissa, we have the one thing that really matters. Love? No. Celebrities! Who's in the closet tonight? Ellie Osborne! Oh, Ellie Emperor! Chris Harrison! Kat Bundy! Oh. This is gonna shock the world. It's amazing what you get away with. <laughs> you, Sarah Silver. Yeah. You too. And tonight, on Joan and Melissa. I am getting stuff ready for John, my ex-husband. John Endicott is staying here? Why can't I just walk away? Don't you wish we had been together long enough to have two? Yes, I gotta talk to you. I don't know what to do. Is everything okay? Oh! oh. I hate her. Joan, you really never kissed a woman. Okay, quiet, everyone. I have to say, oh. you all, I'm so glad you all could come tonight. I wanted you all to meet each other. Some of you are old friends, some of you are new. Joan, happily, is one of my oldest friends. All of you, bless you all. Thank you for having us. What an honor. Did you think you'd ever be at a table with Joan Rivers and Lily No, no, I think I'm still dreaming. Yeah, I I, I, me too, me too. I'm sitting here at this terrific party with Jane Lynch and Lily Tomlin and Jay Rodriguez, and we're having the best time. I keep thinking, I'm the only straight one at this table. Why, God? Where did my parents go wrong? What's Melissa up to? She's great, thank God. She's been dating this guy, Steve Hirsch. The pornographer. The, the pornographer. She's dating a pornographer now, and I, I know missed you. Like, Wait, I missed you. One of the, one of the biggest yeah. in the world. Yes. He's a real businessman, but his business is pornography. <laughs> so that, I don't care how great your body is, he seemed better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but she's fine. And Cooper's... Cooper's good. Cooper's He's great. so great. darling. Great. 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 What a cutie. How do you two know each other? Lily and I met was about 10 years ago. I did her website. Oh, very wow. impressed. Wow. A very hip very website. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. This Ooh. is the most beautiful <laughs> dress. Where did you get this? Yes. This is beautiful. In New York, there's Janine Dre. She does haute couture. She's French and she loves color. The combination is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. They have nothing like this and no one like this in California. You know what I'm saying? I lived in New York for 23 years, so I totally understand. You I still love like Sundays going to the art galleries, walking around. Yes. Doing all... Nobody does that here. Yeah, and they don't know where to go to see right. something really good. And nobody walks. No. There's a new gallery that opened up that has contemporary art, and it would be, I think it'd be a lot of fun, you know, if you and I went in to take a look at some of the new artists. Good. I love it. Absolutely. We're into it. That'd be great, you guys. She needs to get out, Cheryl. Oh, we all need to get out. I need a little culture. <laughs> Melissa? Yes? I found this in your closet. Can I have it? Oh, absolutely. I love this. What are you doing? I am getting stuff ready for John. John who? John, my ex-husband. John Endicott is staying here? His house has termites, and they gotta do all the fumigating and the tenting this week. So where does he go to a hotel? Stupid for him to go to a hotel. Come here, spend the weekend. Melissa, with he's your ex-husband. So what? We're friendly. All right, here we go. Here, I got it. Okay. Cooper will have fun. It's a couple days. So he's gonna share the room with Cooper? Yep. Okay, I'll admit it's a little awkward, but 
A little? A, li it, a little? Okay. Your ex-husband is moving back in the and house? He's not moving in the house. He's staying well, well, with he's, us. Well, he's not living in a tent. He's well, no, staying in your house. The man just had knee surgery. He's having trouble getting around. People get around. Mom, we're just friends. That is a myth, Melissa. Men and women are not just friends. There are lots of myths that we live with. Uh, the tooth fairy is a myth. Uh, black gay Republicans are a myth. Uh, female multiple orgasms. <laughs> it's a myth. How was last night? It was great. It was just great. Lily was great. Jane was great. Was it just you guys? No, they had friends. It, it... Joan, it's time for the conference call. Is it Spielberg? No. Damn. How are you? Well, we have a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah? A lot going on. What's going on? I had dinner with Steven, and I, I, I don't know anymore. Steven Hirsch and I have been dating for a little while. It's in a very awkward place. We, it started out really fast and furious, and, and the relationship kind of blew up, and now we're sort of hanging out again. It's really confusing. It's one of the reasons that I think it's really important that I started talking to a therapist. The whole relationship happened so fast. And then six months later, it blew up just as fast. And here we are and time has passed and we go out to dinner and I thought I was gonna be really excited. You know, and I sat there at dinner and it felt empty. Do you wish you hadn't have gone to dinner, or are you glad you went? Why can't I just walk away? Why couldn't I have just... You cling on thinking, well, you know, maybe I'll just get one little nugget of that really fantastic thing that I had. Oh, wait, I'm not. I don't know. I don't know what I think. I don't know what I feel about it. And listen to this. All these years have passed, almost 10 years since John Mike's husband and I have separated and divorced, and we had a rotten divorce. And now suddenly, we're friends, and I invited him to come and stay with me. It's sort of strange to have him coming back into the house where we live together, but we're not together. It's definitely odd, and you better prepare yourself for the fact that you don't know how you're going to feel about it. I'll keep you on speed dial. <laughs> you know, I used to keep a chopstick in my purse as a weapon. That's not a weapon. Yeah, you could, if you stab someone in the testicle or the throat well, or the eye. you stab somebody in the testicle? If they go to take me, I'm going to go right between the legs and get them right in the nutsack. That's the plan. What's up with Melissa? Where's she at? Let me just tell you. She's going to psychiatrist now. I know she's trying to... She say, is? Yeah. You know, right now, she is sitting there for an hour blaming everything on her mother. Because they all blame it on their mother. Yeah, I did. O.J. Simpson's kids blame, <laughs> blame it on the mother. Well, it's probably her fault in part. I think so. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? Hi, sweetie. Hi. Is there food <laughs> left? Yes, they are. Okay, I want yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, you're at a shrink? You're going to a shrink? Yes, I am finally taking control of my own psyche and, and, okay, and asking for help. Why is suddenly... At this age, do you feel the need for a psychologist? <laughs> Sometimes I need tools to learn tools? how to deal with certain issues that I find recurring in my life. Like what? your brother showing up every week. <laughs> if you don't want me in the house, that is not what I'm saying. I know it's impossible for you to believe this, but I do have other things to talk about besides you. Such as? Such as what? What are you talking about? Stuff. Tell Mom, me a little bit. I do give not me a little think. Bit. No, I do not. Can you give us a category? No, I bet I can guess. I can guess. What? Let's hear. Steven, Melissa, would you give him a job? Nope. You wouldn't give him a job? No. What kind of balls does he have? I'm right? not going to talk about it. Are they weird, round and spherical? You know do what? they hang? Like, you know what? Do they you know what? It's not any of these swingers? They're, they're 50, so. Does that say Steven to you? Or would you say they're more up and tight? You know what? I'm not planning on discussing this with either of you. And you know what? I don't have to. <laughs> You know, mothers and daughters are called Cher and Chaz. Why can't we be like Cher and Chaz? I, if you came to me and said I want a penis, <coughs> checkbook would be out. <laughs> I'd say, how much? If and you wonder why I go to therapy? If really? I had a penis, I would really? stick it in everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Nice to meet you. I have respected you for such a long time. Then you're a fool. Nice to oh, meet you. I know you. I am. Nice to meet you. That's it. Oh, oh, nice oh, to see gorgeous. you. Nice to see you. Oh, this is you exciting. I love going to art galleries. I myself are a very minor amateur painter. Uh, my paintings are just terrible. You look at them, I mean, they, they are messier than Michael J. Fox eating a sloppy joe. Looks like Octomom's uterus. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> I don't know. And this obviously is called <laughs> Paris Hilton. I don't know why. <laughs> Now that's interesting. You know, contemporary art, it's just something that you feel, it makes no sense. This, for some reason, makes me want to cry. Makes you want to cry? It makes me want to cry. There's just something about it that has... No, it's so full of light. Look, I mean, it's like pushing through, you know what I mean? It reminds me of my former husband. Maybe it was when I had his whole body waxed. Maybe that's what it's you making. You waxed your husband's body? Every inch of it. I had no idea that Cheryl was, was married. I mean, I thought lesbians avoid men the way a good Jew avoids retail. Well, you know, this is what lesbians should not get married, ever. Coming up on Joan and Melissa. Which movie is this? I'll give you a hint. Not Harry Potter. <laughs> How long are you staying, Joan? I think a couple days, that's it. Mom, what the hell was that? Little joke. Sabrina! Yes? I got some stuff for Twitter, honey. Come on. What you got for me? Lindsay Lohan surprise is in trouble again. Mm -hmm. She has clocked more court time than Martina Navratilova, who, by the way, douches in Gatorade. Cute. Good morning, this is Sabrina. Hi, Cheryl. How are you today? I'm good, Cheryl? thank you. Yeah, great, Cheryl. great. Hold on just one second, OK? OK. Well, that was some art exhibit, huh? Thank you for including me. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure. I would think we had such a good time with that. We should get into pottery. I signed up for a class. Are you serious? A pottery class? When? When is it? Noon time. Can you hang on? Let me just see if I can do it. Can you hang on one second? Can you look up tomorrow? What am I doing in the afternoon? Well, I have a conference call with Larry Thompson. We could change that. OK, I can do that. I can move exercise around. Yeah. OK. okay. All right, I'm giving up for you, Cheryl. Giving up for you, exercise. OK, Joan. Great. Bye-bye. Bye, Peter. Nice. I'm going to pottery class. Ha <laughs> ha. That's fabulous. I guess pottery is better than pot. Pottery, pottery. <laughs> you don't get on? into trouble. No, I can't get into trouble with pottery. Cooper, quit hanging on the banister. Hey. See the thing where he's hanging from the stairs again. How many times do I have to tell you? Does he do that at your house? He does. It drives me crazy. I'm making lunch. Good, what are we having? What do you want? I got turkey, bacon, cheese. No, it's my favorite. I want to do this. You want to do this? Yeah. OK. Seriously, he's never this helpful. It's because I'm here. Hello, hello, hello. 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 We're oh. having sandwiches. You want one? Oh, thank you, thank you, but no, I'm, I'm off to meet a friend. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, it's like very family. Civilized. Yeah. You know something? It's nice to have John around the house. As a mother, I, I feel conflicted. I mean, they went through a, a very difficult divorce, but seeing all of us in the kitchen eating and laughing, it's kind of like a family. All right, have a nice lunch, OK? Well. And I'll be back not too late. Have a great time. I'll speak to you guys later. Bye. 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 How long are you staying, John? I think a couple days, that's it. Great, glad, great to, to, see glad you. to have you. Thank you very much. Making progress. Let's see. Mom, what the hell was that? What was what? The Little joke. Really, facial and hand gestures, that's where we've gone to? You should be glad that my face still moves. He's a very nice man, Melissa. And he's tall. Really? Was that necessary? What? what? 